This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social. You know what? Usually, I would introduce you, but first time on the channel, I'm going to pass you the mic. Well, I'm going to hold it for you. I want you to introduce yourself to the people on Boxing Social watching. My name is Jesse Brandon. Professional debut on a Friday. On a Friday, I'm going to make my professional debut. And just be ready, innit? Be ready. Let's talk a little bit about your journey in boxing. Uh, look, you make your professional debut on Harlem U, Banks Garda, you know, Wasserman Boxing, Channel 5, a big platform. Also with England on, you know, all eyes are going to be on sport this weekend. A real opportunity for you to be seen for the first time by the boxing public. No, it's just, I've got to make a statement, you know what I mean? I've got to make a statement and show out and just show people what I'm made of, you know what I'm saying? That's what I've got to do on a Friday, no pressure, but I put the work in, so... Yeah. When did boxing first begin for you? You know, when did you first lace up the gloves? What's your first boxing story that you can remember? I started boxing at 18. I started boxing at 18. I was just getting up to little fuckeries on the streets, innit? I should say. I was getting up to bullshit. But yeah, I started boxing at 18. A mate of mine, I messaged a mate of mine, I see him boxing. After like the Mayweather Pacquiao fight, I started getting, I started, I put a lot of interest into the sport. And then, yeah, the rest is history. I heard just now that you're a very good amateur boxed at Finchley ABC, which we know very well just from Anthony Joshua alone. Um, look, when you've got the sort of talent coming out of that gym, it sort of looks like another one to be the same with you, guided by brilliant people, and now onto the professional game. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Big dog, big dog. AJ, shout out to AJ. He helps me out a lot. You know what I mean? I'm a phone call away from him whenever he wants to help me out. He's always there. He's a mentor. Yeah, man, he's been guiding me out. He's been guiding me. He gives me advice whenever I need it, innit? So I'm blessed to be around people like AJ. People that have done it. What I'm trying to do, he's done it already. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm blessed and let the show go on, innit? For the people who see you this weekend for the first time, what style can we expect? What do you bring to the ring? <laughs> you got to wait and see. It's a surprise, it's a surprise but uh, explosive. Explosive. And when I hit, they stay hit. You know what I mean? Just finally from me, you mentioned about Anthony Joshua. Looks like next, if Dillian White can get through this Saturday, that will be the fight that we see maybe March or the summer of next year. Um, for AJ, you know, what do you believe would be the best for him? Is it maybe going and getting a couple of knockouts and getting his confidence back? Or is he, you know, someone who's just got the mentality, always wants to be in the big fights? Now he's got the mentality. He, he, he always wants to be the top dog, isn't it? Like, he, he, don't, he, got, he, he ain't got nothing to prove. He's done it all. But he still wants to be at the top and like whatever makes sense for him, I guess, financially, you know what I mean? And obviously he wants to be a third time world champion, so obviously he's chasing the big fights. You know what I mean? So if you want to be a third time world champion, you can't fight easy fights, can you? You gotta fight a hard fight. So he's ready, he's ready regardless. He's always training, he's always in the gym, you know what I mean? So he knows what he wants to do. He's got a good team around him as well, so if he needs my advice. Which I don't think he needs, you know what I mean, dog? Which I don't think he needs. I'm there, innit? But he'll be ready. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like the Dylan White fight's probably next, probably for him. But we'll see, innit? Only time will tell. Alright, bro. Well, thank you very much. First time on Boxing Social. First of many, perhaps. And then uh, all the best Saturday, uh, Friday night, even. No, damn, man. Stay tuned. Jesse Brandon. Easy.